how do I set up DHCP on Windows Server Call? I think we should find out. Ted is setting up the IT infrastructure for a small business and has two domain controllers and DNS running. He also has a Windows 10 workstation joined to the domain which he's using to manage the two servers. To see how this is set up, see episode 6 on this channel. You can find it in the playlist for the IT skills library. The office needs 40 Windows 10 PCs for staff to use and Ted wants them to get their IP addresses automatically instead of assigning them manually like he did for the two domain controllers. For this he needs a DHCP server and a plan for how IP address ranges will be allocated to devices on the network. He will leave 10 addresses for the infrastructure servers like the two domain controllers and DHCP server. The next 40 addresses will be reserved in DHCP as static IP addresses for any other servers like application and database servers. The next 200 addresses will be for workstations, phones and tablets and any other devices that need a dynamic IP address. The DHCP server will be set up with Windows Server Core which is Windows Server without the desktop experience. This improves security, uses less resources and is recommended by Microsoft. On a new server, Ted has finished the base install of Windows Server Core 2019 has set the computer name to DHCP01 and joined the server to the domain. He's also set up a static IP address and configured the DNS servers to point to the two domain controllers. On the Windows 10 PC, he adds the new server to Server Manager and installs the DHCP server role. The last step is to add an authorized user for DHCP in Active Directory. He adds a new scope which is just an IP address range that network devices will be assigned by the DHCP server. Based on his plan, he starts with 10.0.10.51 and ends with 10.0.10.250. Ted also sets additional information the DHCP server will allocate to devices like the default gateway and DNS servers. The scope is now active and to test whether the new DHCP server is giving out IP addresses, this computer is set to obtain an IP and DNS automatically. The status shows that the PC now has the first IP address in the DHCP scope, 10.0.10.51, has a default gateway, is getting its address from the DHCP server on 10.0.10.3 and that the two DNS servers are set correctly. The final thing Ted needs to do is assign static IP addresses based on a network device's MAC address. This can be done by setting up a reservation in the DHCP scope. Ted has another server set up called Server 11, which he adds to Server Manager, and he can see it's picked up the next IP address in the DHCP scope of 10.0.10.52. He wants this server to have a reserved address of 10.0.10.11. To do this, he copies the MAC address and sets up a reservation for server 11. This means that the DHCP server will only assign this address to the device on the network that has this MAC address. On server 11, Ted makes sure DNS is updated Otherwise, Active Directory will still be trying to find the server on the old address. Now after rebooting Server 11 and re-adding to Server Manager, the server has a reserved address of 10.0.10.11.
As you can see, a DHCP server takes care of keeping track of IP addresses on the network. The benefit to system administrators is that this can be managed centrally and controlled using scopes and reservations. That's it for this episode. If you're new here at STEC Systems, the IT Skills Library is a collection of questions and answers to build your IT skills one answer at a time. Subscribe now and start building your skills today.